Hello, and welcome to this. What is this? I don't know, but I'm going to call it Life's Little Chromans, because it's a terrible name, and I'm a terrible person. Today we're going to make a flute. Deal with it. But actually, it's a nice flute, and you can probably use it in lots of places, like medieval bird core or something. It can make an arp, but so can everything. Anyways, if you want to use it, follow along on your electron digitone. If you don't want to use it, whatever. Let's go to a blank. Boop. So, this sounds like this. It sucks. Um, so we're going to use the algorithm 1, uh, which, and we're just using the Y side, so we'll turn the mix over to Y. Whoop! So we're bypassing A and C basically, and just the two B operators straight into uh, Y. So um, we don't need to adjust C or A. We'll just turn B up. It's going to sound terrible for a while. We'll just change an octave down so it's less piercing right now. Uh, we don't need any detuning or feedback, but we'll turn that harmonics up so it's adjusting A and B. So that's it for there. Go to Sin 2. Don't need to do anything with A, but for B, I'm going to turn the volume up. Um, it's going to sound terrible. Oh, God. Um, let's just uh, turn um, the decay all the way down to zero. Add a smidge of attack. And make it really short. Well, still terrible, huh? Well, um, on the amp page, we'll give it a little bit of a extend and soften that attack. It's a little breathy now, so it's not quite as terrible. But we're going to have to filter out some of those harsh tunes. Cut a little bit of low, it's not a big deal, but... Mostly, let's cut those highs. That might be a bit much, but it probably sound better in a mix if it's like that. But you can kind of adjust to taste like salt. Um, we're going to leave it on low pass 2 for the main filter. Uh, and we're going to lower that frequency. Uh, around there. And then uh, bring back some life with some resonance. Uh, sure. Let's do some effects. Add some chorus. Uh, sounds nice. And then add a ton of reverb. Because everything sounds better with a reverb. That's much better. All right, we're almost there. Uh, let's just add an LFO. So LFO 1, do destination um, sign. And we pitch all. So we're just going to add a little bit of warble. It doesn't do anything until we add some and then add a ton. Ooh, good. So you want to be really subtle with this. Around a little 10 or 11. Even one notch makes a big deal. Uh, I'll change the wave to a uh, sign, just make it a little softer to imitate someone like breathing into it. And it's nice, actually, to also put a little fade on here. Um, so that the warble kind of 
works its way in. All the rest is fine. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, the only other thing, yeah, this, like, this works well in several different octaves. It basically makes it sound like different flutes. Um, you can also um, switch this all the way over to X. It sounds a bit like a jug, but um, if you add a bit of a ratio up to about 275, it just sounds a bit nicer. And then go up at a couple octaves. It sounds a bit ocarina-ish. Isn't that lovely? All right, I'm just gonna call it there, I guess. Um, hopefully this wasn't the worst thing you've ever experienced. If it was, let me know. If it wasn't, let me know. Bye.